We have a new training series available soon that focuses on calling features within Microsoft Teams. This series focuses on both PSTN calling and Microsoft's phone system technology. We explore it all, from standard calling features like hold, transfer options, and call parking, to customizing your calling features and voicemail options, as well as the tools and features built into the in-call experience. We would like to give you a sneak peek and share two videos from this series with you today. How to use the conversation pane in an active call and the new React options available on a Teams to Teams call. Enjoy your sneak peek. The conversation pane is available for all Teams to Teams calls completed using the Microsoft phone system. This can be a one-on-one -on -one Teams call with an internal or external user or a group call in Teams, which, as you can see in our example on screen, can include an external caller using PSTN calling to join in. As long as there is a Teams to Teams connection, the conversation pane will be made available to help manage all written communication in this call. Select this icon to open the conversation pane. If you have conversed with this caller or group of callers in a previous chat or phone call, the history of that conversation will appear here. You can type a message in the field provided. It is important to note that if a user is dialing into the call using PSTN calling, they will not be able to see the chat communication, even though their number will appear in the chat when it's created. As you can see, you have access to various formatting options, which will help you manage the look and feel of the type within the body of your message. You can also update the delivery options to add a priority tag, such as urgent or important, to this message. You can also attach items for all call participants that have joined through Teams by selecting the paperclip icon. Your file explorer will open, allowing you to locate and select the item for attaching. Choose Open once you've located and selected the item. As a reminder, if a user is joining the call via PSTN calling, they will not be able to access this document. From here, you can also express yourself with emojis, with GIFs, and with customizable stickers. If you choose the ellipsis, you'll have the option to schedule a future call, which will open a blank meeting invitation for you to complete and send. Your call will not be placed on hold and will remain active while you complete this invitation. From the ellipsis, you can also access message extensions, which allow you to access additional applications, such as forms, if you'd like to create a quick poll to be taken during this call. As a reminder, only participants that have joined through Teams can access this form. When you're ready to send the message you've composed, select the paper airplane. When someone else sends a message into the chat, you can hover over it and choose a reaction if needed. This allows you to acknowledge the message. You can also hover over the message and select the ellipsis to access additional options. Choose Save to add this chat entry to your saved pane for quick access to it in the future. To access your saved pane, navigate to the search and command bar and type forward slash saved. Your saved pane will open and you can click the entry to be brought to it within the Teams environment. On received messages, you can choose the ellipsis and select Mark as Unread. This will place a notification in your chat application view to remind you of this message. It will also place a last red marker in the chat pane. If you have received a message in a different language, you can select the ellipsis and choose Translate to have the message translated into the default language you've set in Teams. 
Select the ellipsis and choose Immersive Reader to open the Immersive Reader tool and have the message read aloud to you. The Immersive Reader also allows you to access some additional accessibility tools that are built right into this feature. You can also access the red receipts of a message by choosing the Read By dropdown. This will allow you to see which call participants have read this written message. You can choose the X to close the conversation pane. All written correspondence from this call can be accessed by navigating to the chat application view in the Teams navigation pane. This means you can continue to communicate and share with the colleagues or group of colleagues from this call who have joined via Teams. This is helpful if you'd like to follow up on an item discussed in your call or if you created action items in that conversation. As a reminder, although you can see the external phone number that dialed in using PSTN calling, those users will not be able to access this chat. You can always start this chat again by selecting the video call or audio call button in the corner of this chat. All callers will be dialed back into the call. It is important to note that if there is a user in this call who had joined using PSTN calling, as we see here, you must have PSTN calling enabled in Teams to redial these users in this way. While in a Teams to Teams call that uses Microsoft's phone system technology with an internal or external colleague, you can react to the conversation or raise your hand to get a speaker's attention. To react to the conversation, select this icon and choose the reaction that matches your current emotion. This is helpful because it allows you to engage and participate in the conversation without having to unmute your microphone and verbally express yourself. When someone reacts in a call, you'll see their reaction appear on their profile icon or on the center of their video feed. This reaction remains visible for a few seconds before fading away. If you are in a group call and would like to speak but do not feel comfortable interrupting, you can choose the same icon and select the raise hand option. Your profile will glow yellow temporarily and the raise hand icon will appear beside your name. Others will see a hand is raised and a notification will appear on the participant's pane, which, when opened, will show all callers who have their hands raised at the top of the participant's list. Once you are called on to speak, you can unmute your microphone and add to the conversation. Select this icon again and choose the raise hand button again to lower your hand. As a reminder, if you're joining a call using PSTN calling, you will not have access to these features, nor will you be able to view if someone else on the call has used them. We have videos arriving every Wednesday, so don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. At CCC, we did not get here alone, and neither should you.